Discover how the Word of God can bring a change in your life through the teachings of Bishop Eddie Addy. Bishop Eddie Addy is an assistant to Bishop Daniel Mills and serves as the resident bishop of the Macarius Church. Anointed, energetic, and a practical teacher, the servant of God will inspire you with practical teaching of the Word of God that will refresh you, energize you, and bring healing to your body, soul, and spirit. Now, to the message. Praise the Lord. If we get all our new believers to please go for their class, that will be helpful. All new believers, please. If you walk faster, it will show that you are younger. You can even run as though, you know. But please come back. Come back before you go home. Let's pray. Father, thanks a million for the great opportunity we have to be in your presence. Show us mercy. Teach us your ways. That we might walk in your paths. Lead us into all truth, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated. Good to see all of you this morning. I thank God for your lives, that you keep coming every Sunday. It's a blessing. Which group is this blue and white, blue and white people? Hey. Okay, this is new. All right, like sea blue, sea blue, sea blue. And the boys also in sea blue ties. Okay, it's working. Today we are looking at how to say thank you to God. How. And why you must say thank you to God. Let's look at 2 Chronicles 32. Second Chronicles 32. If we Start a bit from verse 1. That will be helpful. Welcome all those who are joining us on Facebook, on YouTube, and perhaps even on Healing Jesus. God bless you. I pray that God will affect your life by his word and make his word relevant to you and to your life and bring a mighty change. An advancement. In First Samuel chapter 12 verse 6. It's turning out to be one of my favorite scriptures in this season. It says that Samuel said unto the people. That it is the Lord who advanced Moses and Aaron. And that brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. So God is an advancer. May the Lord advance you. May the Lord push you forward. And may the Lord help you to be always taking higher steps beyond where you are. Well, if you, are, you said amen, you got it. All right, so that is my prayer for you. That as you hear the word of God, he will advance, advance, like push you forward. Push you forward. Next year by this time, you shall not be found standing in the same place. By the time you find the same date next year, your situation would have been advanced. Now, nim. What to an amount 
and among Kessia. Higher giant steps. God will bless you. Clap your hands and be seated. You will not always be getting text messages with bad news. This one has died. This one has been rushed to the hospital. This one is in coma. This one has just broken his leg. This one slipped and fell in his bathroom. These are not the news you'll be hearing. You get messages on your phone. 2,000 Ghana cities have been sent to your momo. 500 cities notification has come to your phone. So you are 500 cities richer. 2,000 cities richer. 1,200 cities richer. God bless you. You receive a message from the U.S. Embassy. Your visa has been approved. Go to the collection point. Your visa has been granted. Five years multiple. You get a notification from the UK High Commission. Yes. They will tell you your visa has been approved. Ten years. You can travel freely. You get a notification. The money I promised you, um, I've wired it to your account. It will take two days to clear. But after two days, you will see 15,000 Ghana cities in your account. 25,000 cities has been wired into your account. You will get a notification. You came to mind. I don't know why you came to mind. But I was counting some money when you came to mind. So I, I, I have it in cash. Please pass by my office and collect the money. It's 37,500 Ghana cities. 75,000 cities. I was counting money when suddenly I thought of you and I thought to myself if the Lord has blessed me who can I celebrate and enjoy with? the first name that came was yours I am counting the money I feel like giving you 10% it is 22,500 please pass by my house and receive it do you believe in something like that you will get a, a, a WhatsApp call from somebody in London, somebody in Germany, somebody in Canada, and the person will tell you, somebody is coming. I thought of you. I thought of you. You came to mind. And when you came to mind, I thought I should buy some clothes. Are you still size 16? Is size 16 okay? Or I should drop it down to size 14, size 12, size 10. I want to buy a, a whole suitcase full and send them to you. Is your bust uh, 32, 34, 34 wide, 32. Beautiful. I'm going to shop, put all in the a suitcase. And I will send the person to you, to your house to deliver it you will come to somebody's mind the person will say I have this car that I'm not, I've not been using I bought a new one that I've been using for some time so this one I've realized that if I leave it it can get spoiled do you need a car would you like this car it's not so old it's only 6 years 
do you like a six year old car? It has done only 70,000. Is it okay? Or it's too old? Please, if you can pass by my house, the key will be waiting for you. That car is yours from now. That's the sort of thoughts that are in God's mind concerning you. So receive your portion. You will come to mind. Somebody will text you. He says, I've been thinking. I've been thinking. I've been looking around the church. But I have a feeling in my heart that God wants us to be together for the rest of our lives. I don't know if you are still free. But I want you as a wife. Please, consider this as a proposal. Should, you be, should it be agreeable to you, please meet me in church at the lobby for an official proposal at the gardens, Macarius Gardens. Yes, mood changing corner so that we can officialize it. We've been friends for some time, but I want to take it to another level. These are the thoughts that are coming. You will get a text. Your husband will fire you a text. My dear wife, I want to apologize for my misbehavior, my malfeasance, my, my uncouth behavior. I'm, I'm even shy that I've allowed myself to go so low. I have seen that I've not respected you. Neither have I given you, showered you with the love that you deserve. By this text message, I am number one, apologizing for my recent bad behavior. Number two, for my utterances in the past. Number three, for my, the impression I've given you that I don't appreciate you. I want to say thank you very much. And number four, should all my apologies be acceptable to you, I would like to propose a weekend to Dubai me and you no children me and you no house help me and you no job no work we go on friday we return on monday should it be agreeable to you please just say okay you don't have to text again you don't have to say too many words just say okay may all these things be applicable to your life in the name of jesus You will get a call from your doctor. He will tell you, I diagnosed you for hypertension. I diagnosed you for kidney failure. But I want to say, I am sorry. It's a mistake. For some reason, I can't find what I found in the earlier test. And I'm declaring, you are free from hypertension. Free from abscess, free from kidney failure, free from high blood pressure, low blood pressure, in the name of Jesus. Believe it. He is the Lord thy God that he led thee. He is the Lord thy God that he led thee. May the healing power that flows from Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Rophe, may he, may his power allow his healing upon you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed. Gynecological problems, be healed. Bone problems, joint problems, muscle spasms, receive healing. Spinal injuries, receive healing in the name of Jesus the Lord thy God in the midst of thee he is mighty he is powerful be healed be blessed Oh 
Yadie ye. He's the healer. Oh. Yes, Jesus, we pray. Jesus, Jesus, we pray. Whatever is destroyed in your life, he is repairing it. Whatever is broken in your life, he is repairing it. Whatever is spoiled, he is restoring it. Receive 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 it. Mato Tarini Bika Bareada. Jesus refresh Jesus refresh Please be seated Somebody you are watching he's right in your room you can feel his presence It's tangible Lord is touching you right there. Lord is touching you. You have an ankle pain. You can't walk on that leg. That is why you didn't go to church today. But the Lord is healing you. Begin to stand and stamp your feet because the Lord has healed you. Receive his healing. In Jesus name. Second Chronicles chapter 32. After these things, and the establishment thereof. The Bible says, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came and entered into Judah and encamped against the fenced cities. And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib, Sennacherib has, was come, and that he was purposed to fight against Jerusalem. He took counsel with his princes and his mighty men to stop the waters of the fountains which were without the city, and they did help him. So there was gathered much people together who stopped all the fountains and the brook that ran through the midst of the land, saying, why should the, the kings of Assyria come and find much water. Also he strengthened himself and built up all the wall that was broken and raised it up to the towers and another wall without and repaired Milo in the city of David and made darts and shields in abundance. So he prepared himself. Bible says he told the people to be strong and very courageous be not afraid nor dismayed for the kings of Assyria, nor for all the multitude that is with him. For there be more with us Amen. than with him. Amen. For with him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us. I declare to you that God will help you. But with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. May God take up some battles you are facing today. May he take them up and fight for you. Don't say another word. Don't lift another hand. Don't curse anybody. Let God take up the battle for you. For the Lord your God in the midst of you, he is a mighty God. He will do great things in your life. How many want God to do great things in your life? Say, Father, do great things in my life. Tell him, Father, have mercy on me. 
and do great things in my life. I declare that God will do great things in your life. Don't think about your boss again. Don't even make him your prayer topic. Let God fight for you. Hold your peace. God will fight for you. God will. Don't, don't, don't quarrel with your wife again. Don't, don't shout at her. God will fight for you. God will do it for you. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah. The king. Even the king cried, they rested on his words. Why is it that when a man of God is speaking, you don't want to rest on his words? Re- relax on the words. Believe it. That's all you need. Because something beautiful and wonderful will happen in your life. So after this, Sennacherib, he sent his servants to Jerusalem. But he himself laid siege against Lashish, another place, and all his power with him. And to Hezekiah, Hezekiah, king of Judah, and unto all Judah that were assembled. So what happened then is that he sent uh, Rabshakeh, one of his adjutants, to go and speak to the Israelites who had gathered and were on the wall. And he spoke to them in the Hebrew tongue and told them that they should not depend on Hezekiah's words, but no God has been able to resist Sennacherib. Uh, you see, some human beings, they can talk as though they are God. You see? Some people can say, you will see what I will do to you. It's just a audacity. <laughs> audacity. Just a Oh, 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 oh. I will, you will see what I'll do. You wait for me. You wait for me. Now, if you, you are shaking like a leaf. Have faith in and, and confidence in a God who is more powerful than any human being on this earth. Amen. If only you can believe. Amen. But most of you Christians, you are just church goers. You have not really taken God seriously. Don't really have strong faith in God. You are just church goers. Any small crisis. You even look for fetish priests. There are Christians who, when there's a real problem, you go to malams and fetish priests. Yes. And people who claim to be spiritual healers. But you know that they are not Christian oriented. You know by their persuasion and by their practice that it is necromancy and, and, and this type of occultic and fetishism and divination you know it but in your in your hour of difficulty you go there because you have not really taken god seriously today i want to suggest to you to take him seriously he's very wild he's very powerful don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able to make all grace abound towards you so that you have sufficiency in all things. Have faith. Tell your neighbor, have faith in God. Yes. I'm telling you, have faith. That, that's not the topic of the, the today. Because tomorrow, you go home and say that I said that was preaching about have faith in God. All right. So when he spoke to them, you see, he had come here. It's like everybody. Imagine America. So this. Assyria was like America. It was the world superpower in those days. That's why he he could boast and say that no god or king has been able to resist and fight against this Sennacherib. Because every country, whether it's Iraq or Iran or any of these countries, they are able to conquer them. And you, you are also resisting me. So he was telling the people that they shouldn't mind Hezekiah. He's deceiving them. But anyway, God sent his angel and they finished all the soldiers of Sennacherib were just taken out. In depression, Sennacherib himself went to his temple to go and wait on his God or go and mourn and wonder what happened to his soldiers. And his two sons killed him. He was finished, cry. 
you are coming against God's people. And you see, this uh, Hezekiah, he became king. His father was some way. His father didn't follow the things that David had instituted. So he himself, when he came and took over from his father, the Bible says that his father, he made Israel naked. He made them naked. It's like he really sent Israel into evil. So God didn't like him. Christ's father was called Ahaz. So when Hezekiah came, he said, look, all the groups, the altars and other places where they burn incense, he spoiled everything and destroyed the idols that they were worshipping and instituted the worship of the true God and made the priests and the Levites come to the temple and renovate the place and destroy all the abominable things that uh, his predecessors had put there. So he cleansed the land. Even the priest, he made the Levites cleanse the temple. The priests had been contaminated by the idolatry that they had gotten themselves into. So the Levites, the singers, were the ones who were doing more of the cleansing of the temple. So God really liked him. So when this Sennacherib came, he said, somebody who has cleansed the land of idolatry and has returned the people to God whom they like and who, who loves them, you are coming against him and you are threatening him. That's why you should be careful with people who are anointed. Yeah. Try not, God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. But because he's a human being, when you see him, you don't see anointing on him or like the, the oil, like if he's walking and oil is falling, oil is dripping, oil is on his face and everywhere. You say, he's anointed, be careful. But you see the person this type of like this black boy here with glasses like he's anointed it's like whoa so you easily look at people whom god is using and god is on them you see them as ordinary so Sennacherib took this man on and god took him on say god will fight for you this battle, our God will fight for us. God fights for you is better than you fighting for yourself. But when we say it, you don't believe it. Oh, person can be because if it's paining you, so you must do something to make it pain the person. Because you don't, you feel that if God is taking over, God on the It's like it's too long or it's taking too long. So me let me set a trap for him and, and let him fall inside. Put some nails on the floor so that his car, the tire will go, the nail will enter so that his car will, the tire will burst. Let me say something to my husband or my wife that will pain her into her soul. She na she will see that I can also talk. Sorry, I did dim a term rough, rough. Me a quasiawa. Now, also, you're dear. Also, you're dear. I'm called in Sandy. Yes, me, why he's not a drunkard. But you want to say something that it will pain him. One of these days, I'll be showing you this uh, wife of James McKeon when they were being interviewed, what she said. I mean, the small sentence she said, it was too revealing to me. She said, African women are quite aggressive. Did, did you hear that? Yeah. Because she said, when they started their church in Ghana from Scotland, only children responded to their crusade. And when the children came and they were blessed and they got healed, their mothers followed. And when the mothers came, they received the gospel, their lives changed. And when the husbands saw their, li the wives, their lives had changed, they followed them. Because he said, then she said that because, you know, you know, African women can be aggressive. I mean, this is a woman who was here in the, uh, in the 30 something, 38, 30 something. That's when they started the Church of Pentecost here. Even she could discover that African women. When they say African women, you say, this one is not me. <laughs> I can show you a white woman from Scotland who came to start a church here with her husband, James McKeon. That's the comment that he made. The African, 1937. I, I don't know whether it has changed. Now it's worse. African women can be aggressive. 
Yes. No I got na brochure kakra. No I go university I can ho. Yes. No I te brofo I feel Wesley girls e dey apem so. Share. Pray about it. I'm not the one saying it. It's uh, Sophia Macion who said it. And she said that, you know, African women can be aggressive. I beg you, it's not me. She said. I should play it for you. Eh? I should play it for you. I'll play it for you. Maybe. Oh, I don't have it. It's not here. But I'll play it for you. Because you argue with me, so I'll play it for you. You are still arguing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so this Hezekiah, God gave him victory over Sennacherib. I mean, an amazing, I'm sure other nations, when they had, you didn't throw one arrow, you didn't throw one dart, you didn't throw a spear, you didn't fight, and you won the battle. Wow, this great king. You were able to conquer him, then you are powerful. He said, no, it's my God. With you is the arm of flesh, but with us is the mighty God of Israel. Then afterwards, the Bible says, Hezekiah became ill. In those days, verse 24, Hezekiah was sick to the death. Do you understand sick to the death? That means that you are sick and you are almost dying. You have been rushed to intensive care. There is drip on you. There is oxygen on you. There is uh, blood. You are being given blood transfusion. You are being given oxygen. You are being given uh, fluids and other medicines in the fluid because even you can't even swallow medicine. So they have to pass it through the fluid. You are dying, no, no. <laughs> Yes, you die that. Yes. <laughs> Me, when my sister died, I was on, on looking at her like this as she was dying. I think the doctors, they knew she had died, but they wanted to impress me. So they kept pressing on her, pressing on her, pressing on so, her. But it's like they don't want to say that she's gone. So I'm going to to impress you that look, we are really working hard to make sure that she doesn't go. But me so me kind, and I mean who are there? Nessa are there? No cop. So they after some time they said, oh, they didn't say, but they just they saw the doctor shaking his head. Wow. Where were you, Afina? Yeah, pump, pump, chest. So sickness unto death, it takes you to the hospital. If you are in coma, you are being resuscitated. That's what he, he had that sort of sickness. Just so be am one hour weary. Yes. Then he prayed unto the Lord. The same God he prayed to for the victory of Asanacharab. He prayed about this sickness. And the Bible says, and he, and he spake unto him. And he gave him a sign. God gave him a sign. Read on, brother. Don't sleep. But Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him, for his heart was lifted up. Therefore, there was wrath upon him and upon Judah and Jerusalem. He, his heart was, when he was healed of the, often when you get healed, People recover from death-threatening sicknesses. They, they change. They behave as though they were not really sick. Be a, the thing, no? Exercise, because we were exercising, no? Your body itself had its own immunity that has resisted the thing, and even the doctors are shocked. Yes, because they said people normally who have this, they don't recover, but... The way you recovered, no, it means that your heart is strong and then your muscles, you know, they have worked very hard and that helped you. Exercise has really helped. So you speak proudly. Yeah. Let me show you what it means when you speak proudly. Instead of speaking gently like a child. Do you see? 
and making it look like you are appreciative of what good was done, this man began to speak proudly. There are proud responses to good things. God has given you his good things. And he expects you to respond like a child. What is the response of a child? A child's response is a humble response. It is an excited, overjoyed, emotional, and ecstatic response to the smallest good thing that is done to him or to her. When you have children and you give them, even you have a bag of sweets, toffees, and you take only one and put it in their hand, they are excited, overjoyed, emotional, and what? Ecstatic. They are what? Excited. You see them, hey, hey. They don't even, they don't even remember to say thank you because they are too excited. Overjoyed emotional and ecstatic. But when people are, have seen some riches or some blessings for some time, small, small things don't really impress them. Small, small things. Yeah, they have to be big. <laughs> if you give them 100 CDs, it's like, what is this? It's like, what is this? But somebody here, if I gave you 100 CDs, you'll be excited is there anybody here if I gave you? I mean, if you're 100, I mean, you're 100. 100, just 100. It's 200. I want 100. 100. I should use the 200. Now I've made it even 200. I am sh- You sit down. It's not a race. It's my choosing. Even that you are coming, crowd will disqualify you. You see? There are some people here who have not even handled like 200 CD that It's yours. Lydia, come. You see, you see, she's excited. She's overjoyed. She's emotional. She's ecstatic. So she's running. That's, that's how I was making her run. It's like she knows she's going to get 200. What is running for 200? Ah, I'm 200 cities richer now than when I came to church. You see? You see? I didn't tell her to kneel down. I didn't tell her to stay. I just extended my hand. Hey, give, give me the... Uh, somebody else... Uh, our addicts. <laughs> Go and sit down and enjoy the word. Yes. But there are some people, eh, if I was to call them 200, it's like, ah. They will not run. They will even walk in, it's like, give it to this person to bring to me. Yeah. And that's how we respond to God's things. <laughs> but you have to be excited, overjoyed, emotional, and ecstatic. But for don't take that. Ecstatic. Not ecstatic. <laughs> it's what? Ecstatic. Static. So, static, ecstatic, ecstatic. Come on, dear. Ecstatic. Ecstatic, ecstatic. It's not ecstatic, ecstatic. Some people can't pronounce it. Hey, I'm It's not SSVB, SSVB, SSVB. It's ecstatic. It's a higher expression of, of joy and happiness than even being just emotional. When you, are in, when you are ecstatic, it's a feeling or expressing overwhelming happiness or joyful excitement. So you see that joyful is inside. 
excitement is inside emotional happiness is also inside so ecstatic no it goes beyond just i'm happy i'm excited i'm overjoyed and i'm what emotional when you are when you are excited you are you smile you are happy you even run overjoyed makes you run around emotional you even cry you 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 even weep that oh oh you oh Bishop, 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 Bishop. Hey. Oh. I, I, oh. Thank you. He said, it's the, exp- it, the words fail you to even say how you feel. So when God does something for you, you may think it's small. That's why I keep referring to the air you are breathing. It's small to you, isn't it? Go to hospital today. Do you get it? And see how people are gasping for air, breath. It's like if they remove oxygen, it's, it's finished. They are gone. They are at the point of death. You are living and walking around. So what God has given you that you are able to breathe, get up, move around, is small, eh? it's small, isn't it? That's why you are not, you are not excited. You are not overjoyed. You are not emotional. And you are not ecstatic. But when you have children, do you see if something is done, no matter how small, as for children there, and it will get spoiled no, by the day. The, the same by the time he is going to sleep, the toy is even spoiled. But when they get the toy, they, they, they hold it, they eat with it, they sleep with it. Do you see? If you call them, they are going, they are coming. If, if they forget, they'll go back for the toy. They are too excited. Something small. They are excited. They are overjoyed. They are emotional. And they are ecstatic. Old people. Do you see? Who are old in their ways. You do something for them. If you're a husband, you go and buy something for your wife. Well, why am madam? When you ring. Even she's a boss of, when you have children. So she's even a boss over some house helps. Oh. Maybe you have come from town and then you felt you should buy some tomatoes and some onions and some pepper and some you know dried fish and some yam and some plantain and cocoa yam and things and, and vegetables that you you brought them and you are carrying them to the house. When you stopped and then you bottle when you bring it. Hey. What happened to you that you are, instead of being excited, overjoyed, emotional and ecstatic, you are rather it's like hey <laughs> it's like ah now tomatoes where they are until you're saying I saw Messi see whoa it's like ah this one this one they've cheated you pa next time if you have money to buy this thing please give me the money eh? oh instead you should be what excited overjoyed emotional and ecstatic that's the right response to something small that is done. <laughs> is that not so? Yes. So that, you see how this, my little Lydia here, they are twins. So, Media Momo, 300. Chen 150, 150. By all means. They are twins. So, what you do for what you do for all. <laughs> yes. Means <laughs> Yes. As soon as she was running, I gave her the money. She knelt down. You see what you see that the expression was smiles that have been chosen, running out of overjoy or jo- joyfulness, and then emotional. She knelt down and ecstatic. She, she won't go. She's on the ground. Ah. And I just added another one. <laughs> yes. So often we don't give testimonies. 
Because what is done, you say, is small. Say, I had some small head when they prayed. Like, even I did a miracle service this morning. Do you understand? Somebody has been healed, though. But, oh, and shut yet. It's like, okay, the pain was there, but it wasn't really. Uh, meanwhile, it was troubling you, too. Instead of being excited, overjoyed, emotional and, and that's why prophets these young young boy prophets god likes them because if they get one testimony oh i mean have you watched uh, the guy who wears the hat what's his name again prophet one is he prophet one or buffer or buffer the pambo oh he's like a little boy oh no no the Ukraine walking stick, no question, no to turn a night or turn inside. Now, I mean, it's like my father is God, you know. Oh, it's my baby, yeah. Now, go for a baby, I'm at it. Mommy, Papa, we are me, baby, I'm at it. Yeah, then she will, will start a song. The song, no, it doesn't have a verse, it doesn't have a chorus, it's just a song. And he has the instrumentalist to play for him so that he can sing. Now, walk or school. You are not so excited, overjoyed, emotional, and ecstatic. You don't have that response. That's what God was expecting of Hezekiah. Oh, fan say I have to you see, but when you react with being excited, overjoyed, emotional, and ecstatic, you prompt the person. To do more for you, you have no idea. You prompt the person. For God has destroyed Sennacherib, this sickness is nothing for him. After the sickness, too, whatever follows is also nothing for him. But in all this, you will render commensurate appreciation. But the Bible says, but his heart was lifted up. You see, so instead of thanks, your heart is rather lifted up. You see, what is a proud response? What is a proud response? A proud response is when you do you do not lift up your head to, up to even speak. You cannot even turn your neck because it is as though your head and neck are merged together. Hey, my husband, one shopping, what can't one say, Msa? Hey! And now my husband has bought this for me, and I've had it. Your, your mother has told me, your sister has told me, hey, so who again? I'm sure you have taken it to Joy FM. You see, that way of talking, you know, fine. It's discouraging. I'm telling you, it's discouraging. And so with the husband too. So you see that when husbands really marry, people who marry initially, you see that their cheeks come, their bottles even becomes big. All the, not knowing that he was angry. Not knowing he was angry. Because when you eat this yokegari from here, this thing, it doesn't give you a consistent growth pattern. <laughs> Your body doesn't become from, 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 from. Naha, naha, naha. Mre, mre, mre. Your bones are all showing. Bones say, potos non in namusa. Because banku from this woman's kitchen and wache from that woman's kitchen is not a consistent impartation. Now they are bomb a comb. So you see egg that is passing. You buy, you divide it, put pepper inside, eat. Those things they don't give you. That's why you are you look gaunt. You look emaciated. As if you have HIV. Oh you see that when they marry now and they stay with a wife who knows how to cook. Oh, you see that their bottles has come. 
their stomach is coming their chest has become broad their cheeks are filled up hey recently i saw a brother who just got married i said hey tell come down i didn't know you were hungry <laughs> i didn't know you were hungry the fact that you are put on weight is a sign that you are not eating well You feel that when a woman makes nice food, it's, it's, it's like she, she's supposed to cook into own can thank you. Own did yet and wipe out your mouth and can say, Oh, darling, thank you for the. It was really, really nice. It was really nice. And when you come to God, you bring the same attitude. It's not big, it's not wild. You know, it's not whatever. Just proud speaking. Oh, I'm going to uh, Kumasi. I'll be back tomorrow. As if. Nyamia dum or by the grace of God, I'll go and come or God willing. Be a nimo. That's what shows your proud speaking. For this deed that was done, Hezekiah. He rendered not again, but he did not give back to God a commensurate appreciation, but spoke proudly. You know, men like calves. And that's and I have it. So if this one doesn't get me, this one I will get. If this one doesn't like me, this one I will like. If this one doesn't like, this one I will like. When like. 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 nobody will mind you. I was saying that you are your calves, you'll be walking around town like a butterfly, flying all over the place. Nobody will mind you. Oh, sorry, our calves. <laughs> Who are you? Rounds, rounds, not calves, rounds. Are you with me so far? Are you hearing the message so far? Proud speaking. Your husband will come cry. You won't lift your head from your WhatsApp. We will share video. You've come. Eh? I, I heated. Uh, I knew you'd be coming at this time. So I've heated. The food was heated more than 30 minutes ago. You won't heat it again. Oh, oh my is Oh, could you do the to your Could you do doesn't like hot food. <laughs> Instead of getting up, putting your phone away and attending to him you see that he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't like hot food i've heated it 30 minutes ago and he said hey, hey she's still now you go and touch the bowl and say it's still warm but when you touch the bowl may be warm the inside can be cold when he says oh but the meat is cold can you heat it again ah meat is been there cold now the thing cry me doing that kind of hot we'll say meat now you know why you complain too much you like complaining. You like complaining. Oh, meanwhile, the, 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 you can heat something and the meat, the inside of the meat is cold. And the one who is eating will say that it's cold. But we are, we are not ding, ding, ding. Any we, 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 we lack of appreciation and thanksgiving no? and commensurate and rendering again for what good has been done. What one we are not ding, ding, ding. No. We by heart. And when you are speaking, because your anger has come, no? your voice is coming from your truth. Your, your, your speaking speech is coming. Look at you. You are like a lion who is roaring. You are a typical African woman. Very aggressive. Just take the thing and hit it again. Well, if you were serving me, your bishop, you would go and hit it. Oh, Bishop, uh, uh, yes, oh, okay. But when is your husband? Ah, we try, huh? We try, that day. Ah, we are my jay. Oh, we are crazy. Could you then you say your son? Could you cry the energy? Now, could you? Is could you your husband? In 
God was not happy with him. Oh. God was angry. Bored with him. So, if you look at the life of Paul, Paul was grateful to God. He was so thankful. In 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12, he said, And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into them. He was very happy that he has been called into ministry. Why? Because he says, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. That means he was blaspheming against Christ, blaspheming against God, persecuting the church and injurious was hurting the people. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly. You know. The grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. He dear, he was grateful. If you look even in your background, you will see that you also have this type of blas- blasphemies. You have persecution. You know, inju- you've also been injurious before. Somebody is going to church. She's is in the choir nicely. Now, oh, free church. No, one man after who fear. So, now, why you? No, the atwas who couldn't fear. So, it's like you are injurious. Choir director thinks that his choir member has gone home. And Samoa is in your house. Forgive, dear, forgive. You are injurious. One day, Bishop Saki was at a conference. He saw an old schoolmate. When the guy saw him, he said, Hey, praise the Lord. It's praise the Lord. He said, Hey, now nobody can praise the Lord. It's like this guy, very bad boy in, in school, always facing us, always disturbing when we are in SU causing trouble, giving names, disturbing us, forcing us to even end our meetings early. And today, you no, know, after school, he has become born again. He's become a minister and he's ministering at a pastor's conference. Then we miss Bishop Saki, who was an SU from the beginning and has stayed there. He's also now a minister. Then he has also become a minister and he's saying, praise the Lord. Then Bishop Saki said, praise the Lord. Look at the mouth that he's using to say praise the Lord. Wicked man. After years of Is that not the mercy of God? Yeah. So when they brought him before King Agrippa in Acts chapter 26, I just want to give you one or two things there, then we close. I'm preaching about Thanksgiving. Please, if you don't like it, eh, when you, 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 you know that I'm still preaching, just go to agape or action or even kodesh or another place where they are not preaching about something that really affects you because some people don't like messages that forces them to do the right thing so the message it's like it's making me uncomfortable because how i am doesn't conform with the message so it is some way that they are preaching and they should stop Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you will change. I'll change later. I'll change. But some of you, even when there's a choir, you don't want it to end because you, you, are you there? Say, at the end, the atmosphere is like that because you have the upper hand. I know you're apologizing, but I'm not listening because you enjoy the feeling you are getting from the quarrel. Now, call a kitty, 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 kitty. Wouldn't you reconcile it? Won't think kitty, 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 kitty. 
south is flat and fro- uh, north is also flat. The top of the mountain is also flat. When to me and T when him now no roommate and and patchy. That bear na ono o husband na moti down be kumbet me a patch. Your office mate, only need your face so sa office mate, only need be pay mu five o'clock. No matter how bad I no pa, only me patchy. What about the husband who is there from morning to evening, morning to evening, and in the night when you are sleeping is by you, and he's touching you still. On the only day I call the auntie Jayu, because manu na ya ka, baby a na ka, yes. Mama, she has here. Yes. I was telling my wife the other day that look, I can see that you are not happy in the marriage, and maybe you want to even divorce, but you have not yet divorced. So since you have not divorced, you can't deny him sex. I see. I see. Eh, I say. Eh. Well, you are still in the house. You have not divorced. You have not signed any divorce. So you are still wife. Bishop, how does that work? It works. It's not easy there. It's not easy. But that's who told you that living for Jesus is going to be easy. Jesus told you that you are going to have to deny yourself and take up your cross. It's not an easy road. Mama Christo, sooner I said some simple, simple thing means if you are not happy, you just do what you feel like doing. If you are not, because you are not a proper Christian, that's why. When they even you are in the church, they say right nose, you will never write. Sir, excited, joyful, overjoyed, emotional, ecstatic. You have not written it. So when we are saying it again, so when you go home, you will never say it again or do it. That's why you can quarrel with your father because all he did was to bring me to the world. That's why you can quarrel with your, your senior pastor because all he did was to appoint me as a pastor. Really? Because you are not re- rendering again. But when Paul was brought to Agrippa, let me read it for you before the time finishes. In verse 12, Paul was brought to Agrippa to answer for himself. So whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority, let's start from two or three verses before that because you will not get the story very well. Ha! Verse Nine. Yeah, I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Okay? Which thing I also did in Jerusalem and many of the saints did I shut up in prison having received authority from the chief priests and when they were put to death I gave my voice against them. That's what he was doing against the church. Doing it against Christ, the name of Christ. I, whoever represents Christ, I don't bees. And I punish them oft in every synagogue and compel them to blaspheme. Say that there's no God. Say that the Christ is useless. Say that there's this. I mean, he was compelling them and forcing them to deny Jesus. And when they were being stoned like Stephen, he, there was a, he consented unto the death of Stephen. He was standing there. The young man's soul was standing there as they were stoning Stephen. And he was saying, do it. You have my, uh, you have my, um, yes, I have your back. I, uh, I support you. Throw the stone. Kill him. He was standing there consenting to the death. So he said, I pursued them from synagogue to synagogue. And being exceedingly mad against them. <laughs> he was mad against the church. That's why they got to a point and said, you, you have become mad by much learning. He said, and yes, my bottom. Now we have no my bottom for evil things. Now they're my bottom for Jesus. 
and being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto strange cities. Whereupon as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests, at midday, O king, I saw in a way a light from heaven, a light from heaven, a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me and them which were journey, who journeyed with me. And when we were all falling to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the priest. You think God doesn't know your name, eh? He knows your name, Papa. That's why in your dream, on your vision you have, your name can be mentioned. Yes, but he knows your name. <laughs> he knows your name. He knows your language too. So he's not coming to speak to you in tongues for you to interpret. He's speaking in the language you know that you don't have to struggle to understand. Why are you persecuting me? And he said, and he said Who are you, Lord? And I, he said unto me, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister and a witness. Both of these things which thou hast seen. And of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles. And to whom now I send thee. Then he said to open their eyes. And to turn them from darkness to light. That's what happens when people get born again. They are turned from darkness to light. So when you are still in the dark, you are not yet turned. You are not yet born again. And from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Whereupon, King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. But what happened? I showed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and then to the Gentiles that they should repent. So he was very wild. He started preaching from every town. He was moving from Damascus where he, he had got letters to go and arrest Christians. He started preaching there. And at Jerusalem he came back. Then he went to Judea. Then he went to where the Gentiles lived. Oh! That they should repent and turn to God and do the works meet for repentance. Verse 21, For these causes the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. Do you see? Having therefore obtained help of God, I told you God will help you. Amen. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those things which the prophets and Moses did say should come. Wow. How did Paul say thanks? He said thanks, number one, by being obedient to the heavenly vision. By being obedient to the heavenly vision. So how can you also say thanks? You can also say thanks by being obedient to the heavenly vision. The heavenly vision comes in maybe three or four folds. One is that God can give you a dream. And in the dream, you will see God speaking to you. You will be my servant. You will do this. You, or you will see yourself in a church preaching. Or you see yourself really talking to somebody to give his life to Christ in your dream. It's a sign that God is calling you into something. Yeah. You can also read it in the Bible. The Bible says that this book of the prophecy is, the, is, a, is a sure word of prophecy. This Bible is a sure word. We have a sure, a more sure word of prophecy in which you do well if you take heed to it. A sure, most sure word. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Eh? Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you listening to me or I'm, yes. I'm talking to the wrong group? Hey. Oh. It's a sure, more sure word. So sometimes we have read in the Bible 
what we have read in the Bible eh, and the conviction we have about what God has written is what is making the person run, although he has seen a vision. I mean, when you meet Bishop Doug, he says, I'm still waiting to meet Jesus. So he said, ah, so how come you are so wild about going to different countries, different places where people don't have money, people are not even expecting you, you say you are going to Bafata, you say you are going to Kanchungo, you say you are going to Madagascar, you say you are going to, I mean, why are you going where you are going? Because one ass now. Now people who say, oh, again, and most pastors, most Christians are content to just stay within the church that they have and just be there and just manage their lives, their marriages and their husbands and just help the church members to marry and just be in the church and grow born children and grow and grow and become gray-headed in the church and then you will die and go to heaven. But you dear, today eh, we heard you were in Cameroon. You were in uh, Bafusam or whatever. Then you were in uh, uh, huh? Ebolua and then you were where else? <coughs> you were in many places in Cameroon. So who has sent you there? It's not an angel. It's not an encounter with Jesus directly. But it is the same sure word of prophecy that go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be. That same word is what to him is his heavenly vision. Yes. Most Christians are disobedient to this heavenly call. Yeah. I mean, before you even see angels calling you, my son, Emmanuel, I, this day have I appeared unto thee and called thee to be a messenger unto me in Afghanistan. Before you hear such words, eh, even just go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature, must be something that you take as though you have seen a vision. Yes. <laughs> Heavenly vision. Sometimes you have a real vision, a trans, trans vision. All those are different things that you can encounter God and he will speak to you. But I want to tell you that most of us may not have those powerful encounters of a supernatural kind. Most of us are going to have to deal with the conviction of the Holy Spirit and take that as God's heavenly vision for your life. So if I say go and do a center, it may sound like a simple instruction I'm giving you, but you have to see it as your heavenly call. And when people take it as their heavenly call, they rather take it to the World Cup. Because one day you can have a vision, wake up and you are sweating. And you are shivering all over because you have had an encounter where you have been taken to hell. And when you woke up and you are feeling hot, I do yeah, am I in hell? Am I in hell? The dream that I've had, it's not easy. I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach. I need to go out. I need to do something. Because in the dream, you were taken to hell. And they whipped you well, well there. She said, I said, I then even the people you met in hell are not happy with you because they knew you. Ah, we are, we are center director. I don't know. Come on, pine, pine. Hey, go back. Our brothers are there. Go and preach to them. You see, when you come out of such an encounter. You'll be running here, running there, and there are people who have such a but you see. When you follow God, you don't have to wait for a dream be to speak. Or even when he speaks, you will not hear. You will not obey it. As some of you here, you have dreams where you are holding a Bible preaching on a platform. You were high. Everybody was low. You were preaching. It doesn't mean anything to you. You come and ask me, what does it mean? I should interpret it to be that what? You are the president of Ghana addressing the nation. Okay. <laughs> Fellow Ghanaians. Meanwhile, you know that you are preaching the Bible. Are you with me still? Yes. He said, I am thankful to Jesus 
who counted me worthy and put me in the ministry and to say thank you to him i will not be disobedient to my heavenly vision whatever calling and vision god has put in my heart i will not disobey it ha they beat him he kept preaching the next one says say thank you to god i'm teaching you how to say thank you to god with your life with your life he says say thank you to god by continuing faithfully and relentlessly in your call till the very end what did he say in acts chapter 26 verse 22 having therefore obtained help of god i continue unto this day i continue unto this day i want to say thank you to god by continuing faithfully and relentlessly to the very end to the very end very end. don't stop it hey they beat paulo i don't think anybody I, I think maybe the way his unbeliever life is that's how his calling to has was because he was beating people too much so he had to be beaten they beat him uh, it was not easy at all now, those of you who are doing but be careful when god sends you you see the thing that will be done to you when you are also like my friend here ah, when he was a sheep Osa here the way he used to dodge the people cause trouble hey follow the small 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 girls plenty in the church it was not easy for the pastor so when he's giving the testimony, he says, that was then. That was then. But now I'm changing. Uh, we are saying then, you are injurious. You are blasphemer. Yeah, yeah, you are persecutor. That's what we are talking about. Come and see him when he also got sheep. Where? Bishop, these people, they are very, 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 very difficult. Difficult. I said, that's how you were. I said, oh, me. Uh, oh, Bishop, no, I, no, these people, they are different. <laughs> they are different. <laughs> <laughs> yes he buys kenke for the sheep they eat the kenke they won't come to church <sighs> you buy watch it for fellowship he said look there's watch it don't worry don't go don't watch soccer everything he will, they'll come they'll eat the watch it, everything sunday you will see them he said, bishop these people uh, i see i was bad but these people they are different <laughs> you know everything na double double <laughs> yes so those of you who have been brought from Atadeka, they even have to come and bath you before you come to church. Be careful. The day you soften and receive God properly, eh, God will give you people. Ombedi usi ko amu machech. Tese ni onsu di obisi ka amu machech. Obi de ba sa be siho unti ahe. When your time, I bet for a winter church, no cry or bad late because of you. Oh, man, you're late. It's an abbas no more keke. When we used to go to church, nobody brought bus for us. Eh? We used to walk. You walk like from here to um, uh, oh, school junction, they say, oh, hey, uh, to a uh, no, 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 America house. Yes, fa lungu, 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 womu, hanwe, piwa, oh. So since I started driving, me baby baby. Me where is this place? Then they mentioned mention the name. I can still not tell where we are. But me so no. Oh, come a beer, me. Because we are walking. You need a shorter route to where you are going. You can't just be following the road as though you are a car. On your car. Oh, so warm water. Say now warm water. Now coffee. Now pee water. Now coffee. Now obi fee the house. You know. There's some small lane as though you are passing through somebody's kitchen. Now I found us. Ah, now you see, sir. I said, Now we have my monsieur, may you quit here because that's the shortest cut to where you are going <laughs> today. Somebody's bringing a bus, somebody's taking you in Uber, somebody's taking taxi, put you inside free. Not yet, you know. Be careful, I'm showing you, Paul. Send me a poor you know. One day you grow and say, Hey, Bible now for Matthias Yapa. Hey, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to work for God. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to now so Jesus. Hey. 
you there, you see the people climbing walls. <laughs> hey, Kojo Bra, hey, where are you going? I'm here. We are going to church. Oh, you has climbed his left crowd because what you were doing before on one home. God will give you some pay. Uh, careful. Mercy. Careful. Those of you over church now chasing chasing girls. Over shana sheep now be nyano. We are also chasing chasing sheep now sir. Hey, I didn't bring you here to get a girlfriend. I beat you just now. I feel now over bobo be. Did they be? Did they beat you? But he says. Having therefore obtained help from God, help of God, God, I continue unto this day. Continue in your calling, continue in serving God. If you are a basenta leader, never stop being a basenta leader, never give up being a basenta leader. If you support basin work, you give money, never stop supporting it. If you follow up people and bring them, never stop following them up. Never visit, stop visiting them. Never, never stop praying for them. Never give it up. Never give it up. Never give it up. Continue faithfully and relentlessly in your call until the very, very, very end. That's why you you will say to me that ah, they've been sending some v- videos around of you dancing and leading praises and things. But it looks like that zeal that you have, it hasn't changed. Yeah, I continue. I continue. And to this day, I cannot stop this thing if I'm excited and joyful and emotional and ec- ecstatic. I still continue and to this day. And then, why, why you joke? Why have you slowed down? Why have you? Is it why mature? You have matured. You backslide. That's what it is. Now you don't. You don't want any hymns when they sing. Um, new songs, yeah, baby, own pet because as you are mature, you like hymns. Hey, really? You are into hymns. You used to lift your hand and lie on the floor in worship. Now the upper hymns are yeah, but oh 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 that's not how we serve God. Though. When we are grateful to God, eh, we, are, we are beside ourselves. We continue unto this day. That's why he says, the people arrested him. He had actually gone to Jerusalem to present himself to the believers there, the, the apostles. Then they told him that people are confused because they've been, he's been preaching to Gentiles that he has put away the Jewish customs. So he should go to the temple and demonstrate that he still values the, 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 the principles of the Jews. So he went. So he was going to do a good thing. They arrested him. Oh, then from there to Festus, from there to high priest, from high priest to and now he appears to Festus. Felix caught him first. He went, then this Festus came. Then now Festus got a visitor called Agrippa, King Agrippa and his wife. And then they dressed, they said, oh, they will listen to his case in the morning. So they dressed repair. Eh? Agrippa, you see, King Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou, thou art permitted to speak. Verse 2, verse 2, verse 2. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because all, uh huh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey. They grilled him, he was there, he was talking. He said, You can arrest me. Keji Amomowo, Afimowo, Awojata, Abuyamlipo, Kwe. It's like you can tie me, I'll keep preaching. You can beat me, I'll keep preaching. You can slap me, I'll still preach. You can you can prevent me from preaching, it will not stop me from preaching. 
Even when he was put in uh, his feet and arms were put in stocks, Paul and Silas, at midnight, he and Silas began to pray and to sing praises. Even in the prison, he never stopped. All the prisoners heard them. They didn't give up. To them, when you are coming to church, now say, Hey, some motor rider, shimo baga, also maybe you. Now, church, you know, oh, car, hey, dangerous. Now, people will snatch your bag, and you know, it's, uh, they, then the other day, they, 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 were, they were brandishing some machete, which must say machete, we, they do cow and sow and sako. I'm afraid if I come and somebody strike me, even my mother told me that the area is difficult and dangerous, you have to be careful when you are going there. Now, oh, 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 you say you are following Jesus. But you don't continue faithfully to the very end. But Paul said, For what has been done for me, showing me such mercy. Somebody who was so blasphemous, injurious, and a persecutor. I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I cannot stop. Hallelujah, Nina manori amanori abadara. Hey, just lift your hand and just stand up on your feet and just lift your hand in total surrender. Dabadori amahande le 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 woshi baderi ande le le le. Liye amano ziyama kata deri amajando lolo bosi fade. Zia Nolobo Shabadiri Agada Jesus Jesus my Lord Jesus my Savior Jesus What shall I render to the Lord All I have to say Oh, what shall I surrender to Jehovah? I have to say, Oh, what shall I render to Jehovah? Hezekiah rendered not again. Oh. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Lift your hand, lift your hand and say, Lord, I give you my life, I give you all, I give you my everything. Mandolobo Sifia Mahada Gades. Liria Mahandea Kadiria Maha. Aruka Sapateriana. For what he has done, for what he has done, salvation. Where you came from, the things you have done, the bad things you have done, and see how today you are sitting in a church, you are standing in a church, you are worshiping, you are praying. Hey! You are not excited, you are not joyful, you are not emotional, you are not ecstatic. How can it be? Oh Jesus. You're the God of all. Taste 
demons tremble at your presence. Demons are losing their hope. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Everything we think about you. Tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Everything we think about you is great. You are 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 great. Oh, you are great. You are so great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Everything written about you is great. Declare demons tremble at your presence. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Hey. Everything we think about you is great. Oh, you are, you are, you are great. 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 You are so great. We present you to the world. You are great. Everything we think about you. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Great are you. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. This calls for rededication. Recommitment. Committing yourself to this glorious, glorious vocation. To love God dearly. To serve Him passionately. To go everywhere the least we can say thank you for what you have done with our lives injurious fornicators adulterers and adulteresses liars and pretenders forgetful and rebellious impudent and rude sinful people He's washed us with his blood, called us by his name, set us apart that you too go and talk for me. How else can you say thank you? Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Famille, 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 ni aupeo. Hey, yembre, oh, famille, ni aupeo. Is that your commitment? That's my commitment. That's a prayer I want to pray. Famille, ni aupeo. Senia, would it it? Oh yeah, Famille, 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 
Jesus. Famille ni ya ope. Kaya dolara basa kaya. Famille ni ya ope. Famille ni ya ope. Famille ni ya ope. Famille hey. Famille ni ya ope. Seniya wode tete. Father, we thank you for this morning, this afternoon. Lord, as we leave from here, we pray for your mercy. We pray for your help. Having obtained help from God, we cease not. We faint not. We can't stop it. We are relentless. Inexorable to do your will. Receive now grace from God, help from God to advance his cause. Now you can never stop. You can never faint. Paul said, having obtained this mercy from God, ha, having obtained this ministry and having obtained mercy, we faint not. Because of the mercy and the allowance, the privilege of serving him, we can't stop. We continue unto this day. <laughs> unto this day. Everyone weak and tired receive restoration and revival. Everyone discouraged mm, and hopeless in serving God, in doing center work, by center work, shepherdora work, looking after ungrateful people, looking after people who have nothing to return to you, but only for the name of Jesus you serve. Return with strength, with energy, to preach, to witness, to follow up, to visit, to pray for others, and to help them throughout their days. The Lord bless you the Lord help you by his supernatural power in Jesus name Amen as every head is bowed and every eye closed we need to close right now so if you are here today and um, you are not a born again Christian. Somebody invited you and really prevailed on you, but God wants to. God wants you. God likes you. God wants to help you. And if you want to give your life to Jesus, as every head is bowed, every eye closed, I want you to lift up your right hand so I can pray for you right where you are. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Let it go up higher. I cannot see you in the darkness, so please lift your hand. Let it go up. God bless you. God bless you. Let it go up. I see so many hands. On the right, at the back, on the left. Every, if your heart is beating and you are not sure that if you were to die this afternoon, you can't be sure that you go to heaven, lift up your hand because it's better to be sure and it's better to be convinced than to carry on without knowing where you spend eternity. As every head is bowed, every eye closed, please lift your hand. God bless you. God bless you. If you have lifted your hand, do one more thing. Come to me right in front here so I can pray for you directly. Come.
hands together like this, two hands. Lift up your two hands. Let me pray for you. Say after me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I come to you just as I am. Please forgive me for all my sins and wash me with your precious blood. Jesus Christ, thank you for dying on the cross for me. From today, you are mine. I am yours. Take my life. Take my life and make it complete. Please write my name in the book of life. I'll serve you forever. In Jesus' name. Now lift your one hand like this. Like how I'm lifted my hand. And say, Satan. Now Satan. From today. I belong to Jesus. I will follow Jesus. From today, me and you is finished. I belong to Jesus from now. I will serve Jesus for the rest of my days. Satan, listen to me carefully. From today, I reject you from my life, from my mind, from my eyes, from everywhere. I reject you. I cast you out. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Savior. And I am His forever. In Jesus name. Amen. We believe the word of God has come to you and you have been blessed by this sermon. Subscribe to this channel and get notified about every video posted.